Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of This Is Our Life. Oh, boy. <laughs> what can I say? One of the marks of a cult is that they attack their critics and former members. You know, they this particular cult that I'm talking about, they they call me names and things like that but I have morals I have standards both my wife and I have morals and standards um, we're not child molesters we don't condone child molestation we don't lie and steal uh, we're not drug addicts uh, we're not drunks um, no we don't make fake profiles on various you know web pages there are people who do that it, that accuse us of it but they're the ones doing it see all, all these things they accuse us of we're not guilty of but they are that's another typical uh, cult behavior. one of the things that cults do um, you know, just look at Jim Jones and what he did, and, you know, but he accused others of doing it. Um, we don't beat each other up. We don't pull guns and knives on each other. But that particular cult does. They do have a, a cult leader. I'm not going to say its name, it. I'm not going to say its name. Um, but, you know, and... and Initially, they made this really odd video where a lot of stuff was taken out of context. I mean, a lot was taken out of context. It, it was the way they, they mashed up the videos and, you know, showing only parts of videos, showing particular videos before and after other particular videos. Um, but, you know, we're not running around stealing from people we're not partaking in government programs and then saying those programs should be shut down or denying that we partake in such programs but they do these these things you know the King Community Kitchen they'll go there to eat they'll go there to get food once a week but then they'll turn around and say well, we, th those programs shouldn't exist I don't know how many are on SSI, but quite a few are on SSI. Yet they say these programs shouldn't exist, that the SSI program shouldn't exist. Some of them get food stamps, and they say food stamps shouldn't exist. They're, one of their excuses for partaking of these programs is they claim to be bleeding the monster, bleeding the dragon. I'm like, uh, no, the reason you're on these programs is because you can't do it on your own. And you need these programs, and you know that. A lot of you have uh, psychological and psychiatric issues. Uh, you do have a cult leader. Uh, there is... Uh, I'll try and provide a link to, to an article, maybe more than one article on, on cults. Um, but, you know, when the, some of the things they attack me for now, when I was still one of them, they liked some of those things, they participated in some of those things, they supported some of those things, they're hypocrites. They are a bunch of hypocrites. There is this us versus them attitude that they have I don't know how many times I've seen it and been told that you know well, you're not one of us uh, I thought freedom was for everyone I fight for freedom for everyone not just myself not just my little group of people um, the, their attitude concerning people who committed suicide you know they, they say good riddance and that's just so sad. That's sick. 
the thing is, you know, I've seen groups like this come and go, and they'll be around for maybe a few years, and then they'll start to slowly fade away. I mean, if you just look at the membership, the current membership, it's it's not a static group of people. It's actually quite fluid. Uh, because once people realize that they're not actually doing anything positive, you know, they're not actually getting anything changed, and they get nothing but opposition from business owners and churches, because, you know, some of them will go in and wind up owing a, a, uh, a business money, and they won't pay it. You know, I mean, there are businesses that used to be supportive of these people, but now they adamantly oppose them. You know, these people say they don't they don't like cops and they have no need for cops, but they'll call the cops on you. I've had them do that to me. And what eventually, you know, because this one individual kept calling and calling and calling, and eventually the police said, "Get a life, leave people alone and get a life." My wife and I happen to have a life, you know, thankfully, so, you know, we're not doing the things they do. Um, but, um, you know, like I was saying, one of the uh, marks of a cult is how they deal with critics and ex-members. Uh, there was a, there's a video of uh, protest of some sort, I believe, by the Stop Those People group. And um, there's Ian and Garrett out there talking their nonsense and, and uh, contradicting themselves. Uh, you know, I mean, they were really good at contradicting themselves. Uh, of course, the group just didn't respond. But they kept talking and talking. Of course, they get upset at that. Uh, do they have a... Uh, I actually, you know, I just mentioned the names of two people, and I was not intending to do that. My bad. But, um... Now, if they want to start saying, um... And I'll say this. They, they know where we live. And they're, they're, some of them may say, oh, no, we don't know where... You're just paranoid. No, some of you have been here. Some of you have been in our house. Okay, we invited you here. Some of you have not been in here, but you've been right out front. And it's easy to find out where we live. I mean, it's not that difficult. But um, you can criticize me all you want. You can criticize my wife all you want. But remember, we have morals. We have standards. You know, we do our, our best to be moral, upstanding people. We do not participate in, nor do we condone, sexual relations with children, rape, uh, drunkenness, violence, thievery, lying, hypocrisy. I, I mean, I'm not perfect. I'm just a human being. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes all the time. And I've probably said some things that, no, I know I've said some things that maybe I should, that I know I shouldn't have said. Uh, but they, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, there's a reason they don't have support from people. They don't, there's a reason they don't have more support from people because the way they treat people, mistreat people, lie to people, um, it's just people don't want anything to do with that. You know, the, the theft. Uh, one minister at a church, I think in Swansea, I'm not sure, called their leader, called the cult leader, on some of his BS, and then all of a sudden he gets attacked. And that church gets attacked, and everybody that goes to it gets attacked. Um, 
you know, all I've done is tell the truth about you guys. I've told the truth about you guys. I, I put up videos of you doing and saying things. And you get mad that I do that. You get really mad. You tell the truth, baby. Yeah, I mean, I'm just telling the truth. And I'm doing it with your information, your you know, videos of you, of you doing things and of your own words. Now you call me immature. Maybe I am at times. But you know what? That's the way it is. Um, I like to have fun. I'm sorry you don't. Or at least you don't have good, clean fun. You, I don't need booze or drugs in order to have fun. I can just have fun. And I do. And like I said, you know, some of you used to participate in some of these things. or And, and some of you do these things, just not with me. Obviously not with me. And then there was a, the incident at the CAC. There was no incident. I went in, asked where people were, because I was told that's where to go, to go to the CAC. So, you know, um, that's where I went. And I was like, well, where is everybody? And I was told, well, they're, they're already in city center. And then I asked to use, if I could use the restroom. I said, yes, that's right. You know, I knew where it was anyway. And I left. There was no incident. I mean, you guys make up all these things, you know, and then people come to realize the truth about you, and you get mad that people call you on your BS. Then don't do those things. Don't lie. Don't support pedophilia. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. It really is. But, you know, you're making a conscious decision to do the things you do. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Sometimes you're not making a conscious decision because you are a part of a cult. And again, I'm going to provide a link to uh, uh, of something about cults. Um, but, like I said, one of the ways you can tell if a group is a cult is by the way they deal with critics and ex-members. And I'm both of that, both an ex and a critic. Uh, and I see how you deal with us, and especially with me. You know, uh, at least I'm not the one having relations with children, using drugs, beating people up, pulling guns and knives on each other, spousal abuse, lying, hypocrisy. My you guys do those things. Call me immature, but at least I have morals. Think about it.